What it do? Let's see where the crew is at. Whip it up. This is my whip mic. So get ready to ask your questions. And get ready to receive some answers. Okay, we got some folks coming in here. Hello, hello. Who we have here? Hello, everybody. I'm looking at your questions over here. So, what's up, sweet gang? How y'all doing? How y'all feel? What's up? Hey, Q. I wanted to come live with you all. The questions coming in so fast, I can't even see them. I still can't see no questions coming in. Everything going so fast. What's going on? Sweet gang in the building. Woo -woo! On this blessed Sunday. Excuse the pots in the back, but yeah. How y'all feeling? I just want to say congratulations to all the entries. You guys did a great job. Thank you for putting in the effort to just stepping outside your comfort zone, outside your box. But you're starting off something different, something new in this sweet journey. Continue and much success to all of you. Um, for those that didn't get the opportunity, it will be another one. Just stay tuned. My team from my private group has judged. Um, we still they're still in the judging phase. So um we didn't broke it down to four candidates that they still looking at. So wish them luck. And I will come back to you all with um a winner on Wednesday. So um so let's have it. What questions do you guys have for me at this time on this beautiful blessed Sunday? Questions, questions, questions. But before I ask, answer any questions, I want to answer some questions that has been arising in some of my comments. Um, a lot of the apple makers, if you're new to making apples, and I get this question, are they supposed to be hard? If you're watching my videos, I'm very thorough at a lot of things that I do and teach. Um, so I try to be as thorough as possible. That's what I want to be different about my content on my channel. Um, and a lot, a lot of different um, presenters or instructors do different things. Well, I'm different because I'm wrong. Okay, I'm going to let y'all know. So my channel is going to be different because I... If I was someone coming on, I wanted more detail, give me that. Okay, so if my tutorials seem a little long or a little different, that's me. I'm still improving on a lot of different things uh, as I grow through YouTube. But I just want you all to know that it's going to be different. And I'm going to give you as much as I know and the best way that I can. Um, so for the apple make new apple makers or app or treat makers, the apples are supposed to be hard. That's why they're called candy apples. Um, and yes, you have to cut into them. Some of them you can bite into, but you're going to cut into these apples. Um, another question with the cleaning process, um, cl cleaning process, make sure that once you have dipped your apples, only let them be in there for five to 10 seconds. No longer than that. Even if they don't look or appear as if the wax then came off, the wax has came off. You just don't see it until after you take them out. So take out those apples, five to 10 seconds in hot boiling water and wipe them completely off and let them sit. The next question, if you want perfect, nice bubble free apples let your apples sit for 48 hours let that two-day process um work on them apples 24 hours cool 
But let those apples sit for 48 hours and go through the process. If you haven't already done so, check out my videos. Um, they're good for, for those that are, are learning and new to apple making. Um, what else? I can't see you guys' questions because I think it's so many people asking so much. So if I have to go back into the video, I will answer. Um, what else? What's up, my subbies, my sweet gang subbies? Um, let me see. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Um, uh, somebody with a question. Anybody? What do you want to see me do different? There has been questions of doing the uh, wedding apples. I think there's a lot of questions coming in and I'm not even seeing them. So I do apologize if I'm not answering your questions. But I will ask, ask them as I get off live. Um, what's another question? Oh, I was asked if I can do the um, wedding apples. The, hus the husband and wife. The bride and groom apples. I will be doing those soon. So um, stay tuned. I will be doing a popcorn tutorial. Stay tuned. I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve. So I'm trying to give you as much as I can. Along with um, doing different things in my private group. Okay. Ah. Uh. Let's see. How long have you been baking? How long have I been baking? I've been baking and treat making since 2014. Okay. How many apples can I get out of a batch? Um, if you go by my 411 recipe, which is four cups of sugar, one cup of water, and one cup of carol, light carol syrup, Depending on your apples, if you have smaller apples, you can you can get between 10 to 12 medium sized apples. You can get between uh, six to eight. If they're larger apples, you probably ain't going to get but four to six apples dipped out of that 411 recipe. OK, let's see. Um, is white candy melts? The same thing as white chocolate. No. No. They're candy melts. Um, I have an interesting video that I will be shooting on chocolate. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a video on how to melt your chocolate. I have been getting questions why, about getting your chocolate smooth. If I haven't demonstrated, demonstrated enough to you in some of my chocolate dipping videos, um, it's very simple. Um, and I will also explain, you know, oftentimes when we try to dip the chocolate, we put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and then it's not all the way melted. It's about stirring up your chocolate completely uh, enough to where the melts melt down. And then if it's not all the way melted, then we go in and uh, reheat but if you constantly keep reheating your chocolate more than 30 seconds and and you haven't dipped anything yet you're going to burn out your chocolate or um your, your or your chocolate can taste burnt as well um but um stirring up the chocolate completely um helps and i i am going to demonstrate that to you guys um one day What should be the starting price for apples? It depends on your apple. It depends on if it's plain, if it's custom, if it has a straw, if it's blinged out. Um, it depends on your area. As a treat maker, you have to know and see, I'm going to give y'all some business uh, tips. You have to know. Um, in the treat making world, you have to know your area. You have to know who you're selling to. You have to get to know your customer. You have to get to, uh, yeah, know your clientele um, and what's going or what's selling and who's your competitor, who, you know. So here where I am in Michigan, in Detroit, Michigan, 
I, and and for my apples, my my base rate for plain apples with no straw, a dozen is forty five dollars. That's a bagged apple. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, let's see what questions y'all got over here. I'm back, you guys. Uh-oh, something went wrong, bro. Do you have cake pops? Okay, Miss Collins, Collins, you live in Flint. You live in Flint. Do you do cake pops? Yes, I do. Check out my social media. Okay, now I'm over here. Turn the phone the right way. Okay, check out my social media. Um, I got a few cake pops on there. Cake pops is not a fan. I'm not a fan of cake pops. Um, but I do do them if they're requested. All right. Yes, yeah, certain flavors can burn your candy, but it really depends. You have to watch your candy when adding flavors. Can cut can certain flavors discolor change the color um, of your mixture? Yes, it can. So it's best to add your color at the end. Okay. Okay. T M. What row? What chocolate is better to use? Actually, if you know how to work the chocolate. I use all different kinds of chocolate, but my best chocolate to use is guitar chocolate. So guitar chocolate is more better is a more uh, better quality of chocolate. Merkins is good, um, even though they took out the fat or whatever. But it's how you use your chocolate. It's how you mix it, okay? Um, and how you work with your chocolate. I will be showing the different ways that you can work with your chocolate so that you can get the proper coating, the proper coverage, so it's not thin, it's not separating. So, but the best chocolate to use, my preference is guitar chocolate. And if I don't resort to guitar, I resort to Merkins. How do you get the colorful paper straws into the apples? Are they applied over the apple sticks and then you dip them? Yes. I have a video explaining how to apply the paper straws over your sticks. So check out my videos, you guys, um, all the way through. If you watch them all the way through, you will see I am very detailed in a lot of things that I do. But... Adding the straws over the regular candy stick, apple stick, um, before dipping. Okay, insert it in, make sure it's not going all the way through, and you are ready to dip. Um, Miss Williams. Leisha Williams, do you have to boil apples that are chocolate dipped? Okay, my preference. Um, it depends if you want that caramel. If you're dipping caramel and you want the still the green texture um, appearance of that apple, you can still you can clean rinse your apples and keep the green. But me personally, I still boil my apples when dipping chocolate. I still do the same cleaning process when um, dipping chocolate apples. Um, it's just my preference. You don't have to do it, but it's just my preference. Okay. Uh, how long 
Lisa, how long do the apples last after the cleaning process? Let me let you guys know. After the cleaning process, the letting them sit for 48 hours. Um, your apples do tend to break down if they've been sitting too long. So I would prefer a week, no longer than a week that they should be sitting out. Because guess what? When they're sitting out, the bottom of the apple tends to soften and starts to tear away. Okay, like skin is just start to peel away. So no longer than a week, you guys. And yes, I do cake pop, Miss Collins Collins. Uh something like wrong. Okay, I gotta catch up with the comments. Uh oh, here we go. I don't know how to block these people. Something is silly is wrong. It is Felicia. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe they don't like me, but it's okay. Um, if I I noticed when I was in Florida, if I stay live too long, then you got um, hackers and stuff will start coming in. You know, just like it's one in here now. You know, I don't even know how to get rid of them. But um, hi, hi. Is there another way to clean them if you? I press for time. Sorry, there is, but the be the best cleaning process is the way I do it. I really don't like to recommend the ice ice um cleaning method. Um, but I will explain that in one of my videos. Um, my uh, my opinion, okay, to give out good product. I just don't recommend to do anything last minute because the quality may not turn out good. Um, given, yes, I have done last minute orders, but sometimes it ain't my best and I don't ever want to do that. So I always strive to be the best and give out the best. And that's what you guys should keep in mind. Strive to be the best, put out the best um, because that gains more customers that gains um, more coins. So keep in mind, last minute orders, it's okay to say no, okay? All money ain't good money. Remember that. It's okay to say no to some of these orders because you want to put out good product, okay? Next question. Hello. Let me see some other questions that I may miss. It was offline, Ro. What was the best chocolate again? Gutters, Gutters chocolate. Cleaning them with vinegar. You don't need to. You don't need to. The wax will come off. Cleaning them with vinegar is just a waste of product. <laughs> five more minutes, folks. I'm going to be with you five more minutes. Because these hackers are coming in here strong. Sonia, you're welcome. Hey, Amanda. Anyone stuff Apple ideas? I got a lot of stuff Apple ideas. Um, it just takes some time for me to bring it to you guys. Um, when I want to bring you guys video, I want to bring it to you with everything that is in front of me and you so that you can get the best idea. Um, wedding apples. Yes, I will be doing wedding apples soon. <sighs> he say hackers. Yep. Okay. Um, Amanda asks how to keep karma on the apples. Well, did you check out my apple video? Caramel apple video? Don't overcook the char the caramel and don't undercook the char caramel. The best way to keep your caramel on your apple is cooking it completely and not undercooking it and making sure that it is sitting on wax paper or a silicone mat. Okay. Sometimes you can transfer that and put it in the freezer 
for about five minutes and taking it out. Okay, but I do have a video on caramel. Oh my God. Good look. Look, I don't know how to get rid of you, but God bless you. I have trouble with caramel and chocolate apples. I will. Hey, Don. I will be doing um, a video on caramel apples soon. So I do have a list of what I'm going to be doing this upcoming um, month and the rest of the month. Oh, yeah. Hello. And I appreciate your tutorials and thank you. You're welcome, Monica. You guys are so welcome. You guys are so phenomenal. Um, Amanda said, yes, you did. But are you still having problems with keeping your karma on your chocolate? Keeping karma on your chocolate. I be talking so fast. I will be stumbling over a whole lot of stuff. But are you having problems with keeping your karma on your apple still? This... Y'all see this hacker? See, I'ma just I'ma pray for you. My karma always seal well. Thanks to your video. Sweetie Pie, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a blessing to us. Thank you so much. Oh, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. I did, but they rolled, but later on, like the next day, all that was down at the bottom. Was it humid? You got to think of your, your area. If it's hot in there and if you cook it, this is what I do. If I'm, if I'm making any treats, I am not cooking anything else. I ain't got my dinner on. I don't have my dinner on, especially with apples. Um, the, cause humidity will break down a lot of your treats. It'll break down your candy mixture. It'll break down your chocolate. It'll break down your caramel. It'll break it down if it's humid in your kitchen. So you have to either transfer from the kitchen to the dining room table so it'll be cool. Some folks set up a fan. It has to be cool. Haven't you ever seen in a factory when they're, they're making certain things, They it goes through a cooling process? That's the same for treats, y'all. That's what I'm learning that... Our, some of these trees have to go into a cooling process. Just like if you dip in uh, strawberries and you dip them in chocolate and it's hot in there. You pick that strawberry up, it's going to melt right into your fingers. So it's, it has to go through a cooling phase. So transferring out that humid kitchen, humid living room, it, it has to be cool. So, you know, a lot of these trees go through a cooling process. Find out how I, I I know I don't even know how to 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 block. That's why I didn't want to be on here long. Thank you. That would be great. You welcome, Don. Hello. If I tap it, I did it. I figured it out. All right. I got him off of here. Hello, Ro. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Blessings to you. Same to you, uh, Nadir. I may be saying you're wrong. Um, Jasmine. I did the recipe as well. My apples were sticky to the bags for the caramel. Don't bag your caramel apples right away. Let them sit for a minute before you bag. Yep, let them sit before you bag. And a lot of times, let me tell you, if you're new to doing a lot of this stuff, this is a lot of things I read through the comments and I want to tell you all, like, you have to be patient. That's why I say the four P's. You have to practice. You have to pray. You have to be persistent, practice, and have patience. Please have patience with, with your craft. Um, we want to jump right in and get it done so we can see them results. But you have to have patience with the things that you are doing so that once it's going through the process, 
you will have good results. So you have to trust the process. Okay. Trust the process that is going to, that is got to go through so you can have good results at the end. And the most first time here, ready to get my life, get your life. You ready to get your life, Ramona? Yes. Hey, Amanda, you welcome, you welcome, you welcome, you welcome, you welcome. Um, hello, can you do a video on Buddy Bunny Bottom Apples? Oh, that's coming up next. Um, you guys, I have a I have an event. Um, this is our second year event. Um, I just want to let you know I'm putting things together where once I do treats, I'm trying to do them as like showing you guys to set up for your packages. Um, like if you're doing a birthday party and I'm trying to do them in themes. So you may see me do Oreos. You may see me do um, an Easter strawberry. And then I'm going to come to you with the Easter apple. Um, so I'm trying to do them in sets so that you all can have a variety to come back and look and say, well, okay, I can do it this way. But be creative. Um, this contest, when I do certain things and I do a contest, and get you out of your comfort zone it's a teaching method that i use because not only are you practicing on you're trying to you know win a contest but it takes you out of your comfort zone and it's a teaching tool as well because you're doing something that you never had the chance to do but don't stop doing it continue to do it continue to, to put in the work of doing um that craft you know and everything ain't for everybody um, a lot of people learn quickly. A lot of people are visual learners. A lot of people are hands-on learners. But you have to... I keep looking this way, so I do apologize. You have to keep in mind that it takes time for this all to work. So have patience. That's why the four Ps is so important. Have patience in what you're doing and trust the process. Sonia, I did. Thank you. I really did. Thank you. Hello, can you do a video on the bunny? Yep. Uh, yes, I did address, um, and you guys can go back and watch this. I did address, um, wait a minute. Did it come back? Oh, okay. I did address about um, the chocolate. Yes. What are the, uh, Lynette, what are the best, is that mine? Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What are the best bags to wrap your apples? I've been having a problem with it sticking. It don't matter if it's a bag, <laughs> cell phone bags, and you're trying to put in candy apples or caramel apples, they're going to stick, but you got to trust the process. Let them sit um, before you bag. After 15, 10 to 15 minutes after dipping your apples, you can even let it be longer. But you're able to bag your apples right after dipping. Let it sit for 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes longer. <laughs> and then you can bag your apples. Leave the bag open. So that the the pre the um the the steam or whatever from the apple comes still comes through the through comes out. So don't close the bag to trap in that moisture, because that moisture once it's stuck in there, you're going to get pinholes. So if you bag your apples right away after dipping, and your apples are still warm. And you closing in the bag or closing it in the box, you're going to get pinholes. Let your apple sit out for a minute before you bag or for you box. I hope that helps. You're welcome, Nita. Yo, will you be announcing the winner of the Unicorn Apple Live as well? Yes, I am. I posted that on... Um, my your sweet connection your sweet connection instagram and as well as my facebook um your sweet connection i will be going live announcing the winner and congrats to everyone also 
It's another reason why I went live. If you, for those that participated in the contest, okay, and you have an entry number, I need you all to message your sweet connection with your Facebook name, and we will add you to my baking group, the private baking group for those contestants only. And I know who you are. So if you go over, my secretary will add you to our private baking group and you'll see where all the magic happens. Okay. Okay, a few more minutes and then I'm out of here. Yep. Okay. Uh, Shannon, yes, I can. Tap report. Okay. I'm trying to. Okay. I'm reporting a lot of messages. I'm back. YouTube just crashed on me. Okay. So that's why I said if I'm on live too long, stuff get to crashing. So. Oh, that's mom them? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, you guys, it's been real. And it's time for me to end this. Dog's going to get to barking. So it's your girl, Ro, about to go. And I'll see y'all in the next video.